So SSRS is your SQL Server Reporting Services. And what it allows you to do is it's a server-based, scalable, extensible platform for deploying and creating reports. And you can you have these with SQL as GP is SQL-based. And you have that ability to get to your SQL Server Reporting Services. So I am going to go out to my SQL Server Report Manager. And when you go out to SQL Server Reporting Services, this is what you would see. You'll have your company database information there. Um, in this case, because I'm working with Fabricam, I have mine based on the two company. So within this window, you're going to go into your company database, and then you can see all the modules. When these reports are deployed, which I will back up just a step here to see so that you can see where that is within Dynamics GP. So I'm going to go into Administration, and then under System, and Reporting Tools Setup. This is where you can go to see if your SQL services, um, or rather SQL reports and Excel reports have been deployed. So you'll have your report server URL and your report manager URL. And you'll be able to see here that your reports are deployed or not deployed within this window. You also have the ability um, to define if you're using any CRM connections, use Windows authentication. Also from this window, you're going to see your Excel reports. And you can see the directory of where those Excel reports will be stored. And you will have your Power BI setups as well. You'll need to put your client ID here. And again, you're going to see that everything is, whether or not everything is deployed. The key thing here is where your report server is for SQL Server reporting services. So I'm going to close that and we'll go back to a report manager. Once those reports are deployed, then all of the reports uh, that are available out of the box are available to your users as long as you give them access to this. So things that you can do here is you can go out and you can run a trial balance summary similar to the report that I created. You can run this right from SQL Server Reporting Services. You can choose to limit by account numbers if you want. You can choose to do historical years. Actually, I am going to do a historical year because I want to do 2017. And once you have your selections made, then you're just going to choose to oops, Sorry, I did not want historical years. Oops. What a date in there. History. So once you have all your parameters set, then your report will generate. And it looks like I may not have any data in this. Let's go back a year here. So that is going to then give you, based on your restrictions, the information for that summary trial balance. And it'll include then your restrictions at the bottom of the report. So I'm going to go back to financial. And again, these are the out-of-the-box reports. So you have these for the financial area, which is going to include your fixed assets. And then if you go back one more step, you can get into the different modules. Uh, if you're using products, 
key to act, then you will have additional modules here for service, job cost, and equipment. When you want to create a new report, we're actually going to create a customer report here in the sales module. So I went into sales, and then I'm going to click on report builder to open up the report. And I'll let that launch. And we're going to do a new report. We're going to choose the table or a matrix wizard. We are going to create a data set. So I'm going to choose next. And then mine is defaulted in here to GP2. But in order to get to that data source, what you're going to do is you're going to browse and you're going to choose data sources. And then you'll see your two different data sources, in this case that I have available. You'll see yours as far as your company data sources. So I'm going to choose that GP2, and that will show here. You can test the connection to make sure that everything is pulling correctly. And then do Next. And then you're going to go in and choose your data. So I'm going to go down to the views actually, and I'm going to choose a customer view. That's going to pull in our customer information, and then do next. And now we're going to choose what we want that data to look like. So I am going to drag the customer name over to the row groups, and we're going to create this report actually just for aging buckets. So I'm going to grab aging buckets one through seven, and you can hold the shift key down to grab the group of reports here rather than clicking individually. You can also do the control key. So then I'm just going to drag these over to my values and then do next. You can choose to do subtotals here if you wanted to. For this example, I'm going to uncheck that and then do next. You can then choose how you want to see the information. So do you want to see the blues with the ocean, you could do a mahogany if you wanted. You can do a generic, which is just clear. So you have those selections here. And then click on Finish. This is going to take you to your um, report where you can go in and enter in a title. So I'm going to call this a customer list, or rather a report name. And once you have that done, then you're going to click on Run in the upper left corner and that's going to show you your report. So now you can see each of your aging buckets and your customer totals here. Once you have the report set the way you want, want it, then you're going to click on the Save button, which is way up at the top of the window. You're going to click on Save. And when you're doing that save, you want to drill into where do you want this report to show up. So I'm going to drill into my two company. And then I want that to show up under Sales. And I'm going to call this, so I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it my customer list. And choose Save. And now, when I come back out to Sales, so I'm going to go back to 2 and then back into Sales so that can refresh. And now we have our customer list here. And that will load and print for us. And you can get very much more detailed into the reports that you're creating and the data that you're pulling, but this gives you a basic start on what you're looking to do with those reports.